Gotcha. Last year's runner-up for the Vezina going up against an offense in Toronto, fourth in the NHL in goals per game. Yeah, and Sorokin has been has been good, but not his Vezina runner-up caliber as last year. And Austin Matthews actually kills penalties this year, so it's a loss to have him in the box. Yeah, much better power play that the Leafs face, to your point. Dotson got it on net! Paul Mary scores! And 40 seconds in, the Islanders grab the lead at home. It's pretty simple when you break it down. It's harder to do, easier to say and harder to do, but good face-off win there. Good work by the Wings to jump in and get that loose puck. And then, you know what, sometimes when you don't have anything, you put the puck on net. Great job by Paul Mary to gobble up that rebound off the Dobson shot. We talked earlier about Dobson. I talked on the point about Dobson, how he's been so offensive. Now Anders Lee snaps one to Oliver Wallstrom, who draws back in. Sent one bouncing in. Rebound given up by Martin Jones. Spits back out to Adam Pellick in a glove save. Paul Mary tried to spin it deep, and Bobby McMahon, the undrafted rookie, got it along to the speedy Noah Gregor, sent it on at Ilya Sorokin. And Benoit starts it out as McCabe and Matthews try to break out of the Leafs' end. Nice, got leveled by Mayfield up along the wall. John Tavares scoops it up, and the first little cavalcade of boos as Tavares races in, backhand, and fought off by Sorokin. Back. He seems fine, but big hit there by Mayfield. And then uh, talked about the here is nice. Said it was to his left knee yesterday in practice. Got a stick caught in the skate. Felt awkward. He worked it on net. Sorokin had a rebound pop in front of him. And the ultra talented speedster up ice had it broken up by Brody at the line. Well done. He lost it. Holmes from out in front. Barzell hold shoot save rebound out in front and clear wide of Jones, picked up at the line by Sebastian Ajo. Lays it back down for Horvat. Centering for Wallstrom. And a save, Jones. Picked up by Bertuzzi. Numbers for the Leafs. Lilligren with Nylander. He feeds Bertuzzi. And a shot gets blocked. Loose for Bertuzzi. And behind the net. Riley from Brody. Riley hangs on to it. Off the leg of Wallstrom. Back to the line. Brody held it in. Moved it. Riley into space. They score! It's McMahon from Breger. And the Leafs tie it. They've tied it in the first. They have. The Islanders had their chances. And then, you know, overall, I thought the Islanders' D zone has been okay. A couple miscues here. But you can see they get their layers back. That shot gets up and deflected. But then they lose it right there. There's a missed cue by the Islanders' defense. That's how Bobby McMahon is able to skate right through the high, high slot area right there. There's a, a transfer. And then he's able to get open. And Sebastian Ajo can't quite... Nylander turns right back in with speed. Giordano for Nylander trying to time it up. And Sorokin sprawled out. So it was an impressive defensive uh, showing for the New York Islanders against Austin Matthews. Who got the first goal of the game, 40 seconds in from Kyle Palmieri. And that matched the second fastest goal to start a game for the Islanders this season. But then Bobby McMahon... With his alma mater, Colgate in the building, as Bucci told you, watching this one before they play a game here as well. The Raiders in the house. He tied it up. Start of the second, loose in front. Matthews scores on a backhand that squirted to him. He shovels it past Sorokin, and 26 ticks into the second. The Leafs lead, and it's number 32 for AM 34. We talked about the quick start for the Islanders in this game, but now it's Toronto Maple Leafs, and we just talked about how do you defend him? How do you defend the best goal scorer right now, and you stay close to him? Right now, they lose track of him, and right in that situation, it's J.G. Pajot, number 44 in blue. Has him, he's close to him, and then he leaves him. And, and watch, you can see J.G. Pajot right there, 44. He turns around, turns his head, and then he lets Matthews in alone. Now he's, it's not just Pajot, there's a lot of blue jerseys. It's Engvall wheeling up from the corner, couldn't get it back to the line for Dobson. Picked up by Cali Yarncroak and he jams it forward. Another great fast check by Pierre Engvall there, showing his speed through the neutral zone, coming back. Dobson turned it over, Matthews scores again! Off a giveaway, he's got two in the first three minutes of the second. That's 
something they've been trying to clean up. We talked to uh, Lane Lambert about it. Noah Dobson is trying to make the pass. He's got somebody right on him. He fans on it. He's not hard enough on the puck. We heard Lane Lambert tell Emily Kaplan in his, in his interview that they've got to manage pucks. That's a perfect example. You're in the D zone. You, they have some fresh legs coming on. Dobson looking for a lane. Eluding Bertuzzi. Worked it out across the net front. Pass Lee. Picked up by Barzell. Drop for Dobson. Skating out high. One-timer got blocked on the way in. Off the stick of Alex Romano. Romano. Break wide for Barzell. He surveys. Drops for Romano. Speeding in. He scores! Oh, what a snipe from Alex Romano! That's one way to get the crowd back up and out of your seat. Great puck work here by the Islanders. Good creativity, keeping it outside. But then for Romano, what a snipe. Who knew he had that? And that is a great shot. Far side tucks it right inside the post. And, and you know, but you can look. The reason he has all this space to take that shot is the movement. He, he mentioned it briefly, not just the offensively, not so much on the power play, but allowing players to play hockey, allowing them to use their... Horvat off the end boards, nearly timed it up perfectly. Tried to connect back in the direction of Brock Nelson, and then a failed clearance from Giordano. Whipped across, here's Barzell at the half wall. He scans, Barzell back for Dobson, floating it up, scores! And what they did well is they kept, they retrieved the puck. How about that play right there by Kyle Palmieri? Giordano could have iced the puck, should have iced the puck. Palmieri prevents it, and then they go to work here, and it's good Matt Barzell work along the wall. He draws two defenders, all the attention, and a little nifty backhand pass creates a better angle. Watch Barzell pull it to his backhand, and he gets a better passing angle. Back to Noah Dobson, who has all the time in the world to rip. Skates it up ice, met by Nye, swatted along at center, turned over. Matthews for Marner, and over the line. Marner holds it, top of the circle with a shot, blocked away by Sorokin. An Islanders team that is allowing the second most shots per game in the NHL. Only better than the Sharks. Touched down by Lee. Horvat is in. Horvat denied. How about this transition through the neutral zone by the Islanders? This is where they struggled on Tuesday against Vancouver. They got gummed up in the neutral zone. Quick one-touch pass in a triangle formation. Anders Lee, beautiful job to spring Bo Horvat for this opportunity. And what a great pickup, too, by Horvat. He's got defensemen on both sides, and then he tries to go clear. Glove down at the wall by Nelson. Here is Dobson for Romanov. A shot short side and a save by Jones. Saved by Martin Jones to keep the score tied at three. Three, three, our score. This has been 40 minutes. Bucci and Cali were talking about hat trick watch and the 70th career multi goal game for the top scorer in the NHL, who's now right back on a 70 goal pace like he was just last week. Like we talked about the calmness on the, some of the Leafs players. How about for Nylander? Just so much poise. Nelson, fashing! Oh, and a stop! As fashing had a chance to fire and give the Islanders the lead. John Tavares on the ice with Bertuzzi and Nylander as Riley got dropped at the red line. Turnover. Nylander toward the net. Still loose for Tavares. And Sorokin fights him off. Squeezed off the puck at the red line. Lee cross corner. And we will have overtime on Long Island. Islanders right behind him with 15. Stars have been on display. It has been entertaining from UBS. Islanders control possession to start overtime. Orbat's out there for the faceoff. One back to Dobson. Dobson for Bordeaux! Scores! It's over! By the way, on an icing call, they get the offensive zone face-off. It's a face-off win. Noah Dobson recognizes. He gets that puck back. He takes a lot of shots from the point, and it's a good awareness from Noah Dobson to look and see that Matt Barzell has eluded his coverage, gets in the back door there. It's his backhand. A beautiful feed by number eight to 13. Four points for both those guys. 
and a huge win here at home at UBS. The crowd went nuts. Barzell ducked in behind McCabe, who had the icing trying to connect with Matthews. It sets up this. Yeah, you know, and you look at that icing call, too. They were trying to set it up.